Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to Christy's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches Round 9. And today is day 20, and this is the sketch for today. And it was created for the 30 Days of Sketches by Jessica Michaels. Yeah, it's a gorgeous little layout, and I really enjoyed lifting it. I went ahead and cut my photos and papers into the hexagons that's on the sketch using my uh, stitched hexagon dies. And this will be the chicken wire die that I'm going to be using. There is chicken wire in the sketch. And then I'm also going to be using Simple Stories Vintage Weathered Garden. And yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous collection. I love it. So much green. There is mixed media in the background, so I decided to use my gelatos, and I didn't have quite the color I needed for this paper, so I'm mixing two, the gray one and the aqua one together. No, I think it's the blue one. I think it's the blue one is the two that I mixed together, and then I'm also going to be using the caramel one, too. I'm using the kissing or packaging technique, and I'm going to let the first color dry before I put the second color on because I didn't want them kind of blending into. I wanted them to be distinguished between each other. I remember when I first got my gelatos, I used that caramel all the time and I almost forgot I had it. I was thinking I needed to mix the yellow with another color to get the color I wanted and then the caramel caught my eye. And I thought, oh, I am so lucky I have that. I made myself quit using it so much so I could use some of the other colors before I ran out of it. And I'm glad I did because I had it for today. I'm putting some splatters on there and I'm just using my fan brush. So those little splatters will be tiny, tiny instead of bigger. I did cut out four of these. I'm going to use three and a tiny bit of the other one. I didn't need the whole thing, but I needed to fill in a little spot. So, yeah, I'm just going to use a tiny bit of the last one. But the good thing is I already used it on another layout, the rest of the big one. And it's already uploaded and live on YouTube. So, yeah, it, if you got it on hand, you use it. At least that's what I've noticed. That is, if it's sitting on my desk, if it's out of sight, out of mind, another story. And this looks kind of funny like this, but once I get the hexagons on there, I don't think it looks quite as funny. I wanted to make sure it showed here and there, but I didn't want to put four squares or rectangles down. I think they're almost a rectangle. A little bit longer on one side than the other one. But I cut the stitched hexagons out. And then after I did that, I got to thinking I'd like a dark background. Well, I used the biggest one behind the photo. So I had to cut the dark one out by hand. But it being a hexagon, it was pretty easy. Of course, if I'd been doing it by hand with no template, <laughs> the other hexagon laying there, it would have been so much harder. I would have been struggling. <laughs> but it being already glued down, well, I used temporary adhesive to glue it down so I could cut it out. And here's all the ones on the layout now. And I did put foam tape underneath the two middle sized ones to bring them up a little higher. I would have done it underneath the photos instead if I'd thought of it sooner. But I put them down with liquid, liquid adhesive. And I didn't want to try to pull them up and maybe mess up my um, chicken wire. So I went ahead and left them and used the second size up instead for the foam adhesive. Now, if you don't like green, this is not the collection for you. I thought about using, since she had that bright colored little top on, to use my lemon twist. But this is new. <laughs> and this is actually the first layout I did with it. I got some gift cards for Christmas. And basically what I did was I had Amazon gift cards. So I ordered some staples with the Amazon gift card and the money I would have ordered regular money wise. 
I used it to order from Only One Life Creations. No, Crafts. Only One Life Crafts. And ordered it from there. <laughs> but it worked out for me. And making this layout gave me scraps for the mom, mama. <laughs> Baby got scraps series. And I am putting liquid glue in the center of the butterflies. Well, I think they're moss. And <laughs> but they're pretty moss on the moss. And then I'm putting foam tape on the wings so that they'll kind of settle down a little bit. However, that butter butterfly moth that I put up there, it is not going to stay there. I'm going to change my mind and put a flower there instead. This little, um, I guess it's a label. It's going up in that right hand corner and I did layer it, put two layers underneath because I wanted to make it a little more sturdier so I could put the foam tape under there. And I am trying to see where I was at. I was looking at the layout so I could tell you what it says and then I almost forgot to tell you. I am telling you now though. It just says live, love, and laugh. And the pictures of Gracie, they'd gone to her aunt's wedding, and it's a good little drive, maybe six, seven hours, something like that, maybe. And she got very unhappy in the car, in the car seat. So <laughs> she was crying, she got all sweaty and everything, and they took uh, stopped at a truck stop. So this bench here is at a truck stop at the borderline whatever you know that where you know they have them sometimes and it does not take long for a little happy baby to get happy again if they're not very uncomfortable in a car seat on a long trip and everybody else was probably happy to have that break too i am just putting flowers around the layout and i am putting foam tape under most of them i think maybe one i'm looking yeah, one does not get foam tape under the flowers. Everything else does. And I fussy cut that one heart flower out of a three by four card because I thought that would look so cute up there by her photo. And yeah, I, I, I like it there. I'm, oh, I am still putting foam tape on everything. So while I am doing that and putting the flowers down, I think flowers and butterflies is all I add for just a little bit. But I want to point out that down there below, you will find links for everybody else that are doing the hop today. Because these are done on a daily basis, so you will find their link down there below. And just hop right along. But yeah, 30 days of sketches and day 20. And here's the brads and of course they're the sticky brads which you know I love I mean I don't mind the ones that have the prongs I'll go ahead and use them I have no problem using them but these are a lot easier the one I just stuck up there it says well I am not sure what it says memories made <laughs> but it says memories made and then I think that's the last thing on there that says anything except that one piece of paper says flower pots. And of course, the title is Loved. I'm putting some enamel dots on there. And as soon as they get on there, I'll be done with my layout. And yeah, <laughs> this was a super quick layout. It, it wasn't hard to do at all. And I really enjoyed it. That is a real cute uh, sketch there. Jessica did a wonderful job on it. And... Yeah, I bought I bought these hexagon dies just for 30 days of sketches in case I needed them. And they sure came in handy today. After making them on my own one time, yeah, I decided I needed them. It is so much quicker using the dies. But if you leave a comment down there below, I'll try to get back with you. And if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. And those of you who already are, thank you so much. But yeah, check everybody else out there, down there on, below, all their links. And of course, you know, Christy will be doing it every day. And there will be, quite, you know, are quite a few doing it every day. 
Did you all catch me using future tense? <laughs> that is because this is January. <laughs> I'm doing this layout. But yeah, check all the links out and see what everybody created. And all the sketches. I mean, there's going to be quite a few from the people in the hop. But yeah, there's little Gracie all happy camper. And just so cute. But have a happy scrappy week. Take care and stay safe. Oh, and I almost forgot. If you'd like to join Christy's Facebook group, it is 30 Days of Sketches with Christy's Beautiful Life. And if you'd like to make a layout using one of the sketches so Christy can find it, use hashtag 30DSCBL9 on Instagram. But thank you all so much for watching my video. Bye.